Edmonton 2018, the last race of the season. Elaine Topolniski, she's been amazing today, making some good passes, and that tombstone, she's not afraid of it at all. We talked about this young woman, Anais Moran from Switzerland, bedazzled as she go. is. Woo! And then, of course, Amanda Trunzo, she can relax through this one, but knowing her, she's gonna wanna win it. And Sandrine Rejon. That is your lineup for the women's final here in Edmonton and our last race of the Ice Cross Downhill World Championship season 2017-18. Let's get it on. with a great start. Anais Moran right there with her. It would have been interesting to see these two in the heat earlier on today, but they were on a collision course for each other. Sandrine Rangel sitting back there in third place, but she almost passes Anais Moran, and then she gets hooked up with Elaine Toplaniski in the Via Cookridge Traction Corner. Look at Trunzo, this is definitely her victory lap. She's yeah. riding on a high and just crushing it. I don't know if that's grimacing because she's working hard or a smile because she knows what's going on. A little of both. A little of both. Anise Moran goes down, I think she does, and it leaves the door wide open for Elaine Toponiski. Elaine Toponiski coming around that last corner, and this is going to be her best finish ever. But Amanda Trunzo celebrates this one in a big way. Elaine Toponiski with a fantastic finish on the season. The second place on the podium. That is amazing. Good job, though, by all of these women who have just battled so hard all season long. What a way to cap off an almost perfect season for Amanda Trunzo. Wow. Yeah. World championship, winning the final race of the season on an amazing track. Yeah, she really brought it all together in these last couple of races. It was so critical for her to do well here, and uh, she did it. She pulled it off, and she can be happy with the effort. But this is all her the whole race. I mean, she kicked it into another gear. Kind of like I see Nas do a lot of times. You just know towards the end, he all of a sudden turns it on. She did the same, and man, just took control. Nobody was touching her here. No one. I think it's safe to say that Amanda could probably race and win against most of the men out there as well. Yeah, She's I, so strong. I didn't like racer when we had that run before. Right, you guys <laughs> raced together, didn't you? Yeah, I saw it firsthand, just fast. <laughs> uh, there's the fall by Anais Moran. She just didn't have the edge she needed, a little bit too hot into that corner. And there's the celebration by Amanda Tronzo across the finish line, amazing. So Amanda Trunzo can be completely happy with her results here this year. She's with Bree McShane in the finish area. Amanda, congratulations. You knew that you had the world title after the quarterfinals. Could you just enjoy that race then? Yeah, you know, all the races, I just tried to enjoy that whole time and tried to get the whole shot, stay out in front and hold my lane and it worked. You're a full-time teacher. How much sacrifice has gone into getting this win? Yeah, you know, there's a ton of sacrifice, uh, some late nights, um, uh, three a days, so just trying to get any workout I can in, but, you know, we make it work and just happy to be here. What's the plan now? Yeah, you know, celebrate this win tonight, but obviously gonna look to defend it next year and work even harder in that off-season. Congratulations. Thank you. Holy Heavy is right. That is the first place trophy for Edmonton 2018, and that's not the only hardware she's going to be taking home. Amanda with a great start. Anais Moran right there with her. It would have been interesting to see these two in the heat earlier on today, but they were on a collision course for each other. Sandrine Rangel sitting back there in third place, but she almost passes Anais Moran, and then she gets hooked up with.